Hi guys, let me take a minute or two to talk to you about something that is really important to me and it's about mental health issues. Having suffered from slight to mild depression while I was starting my own business, I know exactly the feeling that people could have and could suffer uh, throughout, this, uh, throughout this struggle. So for that, I thank you, Adam and Steph, to challenge me for that. Um, I uh, will accept your challenge to uh, throw at me a bucket of cold water. So uh, right now the water is about like 14 degrees Celsius. I couldn't get it uh, to a lower temperature. But uh, thanks guys. Uh, I will donate uh, 50 bucks uh, to a cause that uh, I can relate to so please look into the description below I have uh, I have shared a link for that so I would really uh, appreciate if you decided to participate so without any further ado let's go So here are the other three friends that I am um, uh, challenged for to participate to this. So there you go guys and thank you very much and please cling to the link in the description below. That would be really appreciated if you would participate and donate to this great cause. Thank you guys. So the job is done, uh, I painted, well not painted, but I applied the rust comforter everywhere on the floor. So as you can see, it's a kind of a nice 
dark tone right now uh, here it's clearer because as you as you saw I just applied a second coat just to make sure that it's going black enough uh, so this way that means the rust will be well converted and uh, yeah so that's uh, that's pretty much it for now now that it's done I can't walk anywhere because uh, it needs to cure and it needs 24 hours to cure so I won't do anything for the next 24 hours next time I'm coming back will be tomorrow and I will apply the rust paint and I can't wait to show you what kind of rust what, what color of rust paint that I chose because it's my favorite color so see you tomorrow guys hello everyone it's the day after I applied the rust converter everywhere on the floor <clears throat> and I'm kind of amazed by the result uh, overall uh, I, I've already used the rust converter but on very very small areas but now it's everywhere on the floor and uh, it looks great actually it looks really great so all of the darkers area all of the very very dark black areas are uh, areas where the, the rust converter did its job and converted and converted uh, the rust so this is <clears throat> this is great this is amazing so well now it's just to, it's just time to apply the rust paint and uh, like I said uh, I have it's not a surprise but I decided to paint with uh, this paint actually it's a uh, trem clad rust paint but it's uh, fire red yeah red is my favorite color so <clears throat> I wanted to be fancy and uh, I wanted to well use this paint <clears throat> and so that's what I'm gonna do so first things first <clears throat> Instead of already painting the floor and everything, I'm gonna use a paintbrush and uh, paint all of the cracks. Uh, make sure that the paint is applied uh, at the right spot, at the right with the right amount. Um, and then I will use uh, the roller brush and paint like everywhere on the floor, also on the wheel wells. Uh, and yeah, so. One thing that you maybe have noticed, the wheel wells are, they don't look like they are uh, cleaned up, uh, but I've already uh, used the wire brush cap on top of them just to remove most of the dirt. Uh, the color, the, the red and yellow, which is simply the glue, uh, I didn't want to remove uh, too much because I would have like, uh, residue of the glue everywhere and it's a mess and it's a pain in the ass also to remove uh, so what I'm gonna do anyway I'm gonna apply the rust paint on top of that first coat today second coat tomorrow and uh, and yeah and then then it'll be it will be almost done
right, all right. So here is the first coat of red paint. I've almost used, I, I almost used one gallon for that. So, and I have another one. So I'm gonna use another one just to make sure that it's properly protected against rust because it's rust paint that I used. I still have some finishing touch to do, especially here, but I have to remove the doghouse. Uh, but before that I have to remove the whole mess that I put on top of it so this is a, a kind of a cleanup and a paint job that I will have to do uh, a little bit later but for now 99.99% uh, .99 of the of the floor is painted I still have the last section that I redid uh, previously that I have to clean up and paint but overall it's uh it's all good so yeah and it's uh it's very hot outside uh a little bit humid so hopefully the well the paint is already drying pretty fast but i hope that the humidity won't be a factor a problematic factor uh, and an issue so we'll see but uh, for now the job is done and uh, i'm probably gonna have to wait uh, an hour or, or two before uh, applying a second coat so that's it for now and uh, I'll see you later. Two coats of paint, of rust paint, are now applied. I did it yesterday, uh, so now it's ready to work on. So the plan is to use the metal from the ceiling again and create patches that I will put on those holes. All right, now that I have my two first piece of metal, uh, let's put, that, put them on the bus and see if it fits and if it's, if it's okay. So let's go. Okay, so this metal, this piece of metal will go here and this one will sit All right, I am done with uh, maybe 99% of the floor or 95% of the floor. I just installed the last pieces of metal <clears throat> and uh, the other sides or, or, or the other places that I had to put uh, the metal, I've already applied the paint and uh, same thing in the, at the front of the bus. Um, I have to say that I hated almost every minute of it, uh, like drilling through and uh, and uh, also um, I had a little problem with uh, the rivets that I'm using, they are aluminum and uh, the, um, the rivet gun, the air compressor rivet gun doesn't work really well with those uh, I had some pins stuck inside of it so I was using this so this is why I I hated every minute of it um, I had to do like everything with, with that with that one so but overall it's done I'm glad now the only thing that I have to do is patching the small holes made by uh, the subfloor uh, that was drilled through uh, and also uh, the holes made by the seats. The floor is all prepped, red everywhere and um, I decided to add one more step and it's a video that I saw from a channel called Wide Awake Travels. I will put a link in the description below. Um, they simply waterproofed their uh, entire floor before uh, before continuing the building process and since I still have a little bit more than half of the five gallon flex coat elastomeric paint that I used on the roof of the bus but I'm gonna waterproof the entire floor as well uh, so it's red it's becoming white <laughs> uh, and uh, and yeah so 
this will be easier uh, waterproofing the floor uh, and making sure that I will not I will not have any issues uh, in the future I wanted to make uh, it, it's impossible to say perfect but close to perfect so this is what I'm gonna do apply elastomeric paint everywhere and so this way it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be good and then I will be able to start the building process of the subfloor and then the rest of the bus. So let's get back to work. I'm gonna put those uh, inside the bus right now and uh, and then I'll count how many how much more I need uh, for the rest of the bus. What I plan to use is a uh, construction adhesive plus aluminum tape. Let's try that, let's glue them on, put the uh, aluminum foil on the top of that, aluminum tape, and uh, technically it's supposed to be good. All right, all right, so this is done. I just place uh, a piece of tape and a piece of metal uh, in every holes that I could have on the floor. So now that this is done, the next, uh, the next step is to apply the, uh, the elastomeric paint. And I'm really glad that I did all of that work because, uh, well, it's a lot. Uh, sometimes it was a mess and it was a pain um, but it's the base uh, of the building so if it's not good enough then I will probably find any other problem or I will probably have any other issues uh, I don't know when I don't know where but that's something that I don't want to have so for now everything is done properly like I wanted I took the time uh, to uh, to do it I didn't cut corners so let's go for the next and final part the elastomeric paint all right all right guys this is the final step of the floor preparation um, 
I'm gonna apply the, the elastomeric paint. Uh, I'm super pumped, super stoked. Uh, this is literally the last, the last step uh, before uh, building the subfloor and everything. So I'm super glad. Uh, I spent days and, and, and many hours preparing for this specific moment because uh, from, from now on, from then on, uh, it's just about building, building things uh, and, uh, and creating this, recreating this whole space like I want to. So let's go. Look at that, what a relief, uh, what a relief, I'm done, uh, it's been, it's been a long, a long ride, a long journey just for that, just to make sure that everything was prepped the right way, the correct way, I spent, like I said, numerous hours, numerous days on that, uh, sometimes I hated it especially patching up the floor with the metal the metal pieces uh, but overall i'm super happy uh, and it's part of the process anyway uh, anything that you can do there's always some things that you don't like and that's okay but you have to push through and eventually it's gonna get better and for now seeing that result to me this is better, way better. So I'm very, very happy about it. And so now uh, I'm gonna rest a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna, anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work. I have tons of other stuff to do related to my jobs. It's the end of this video, of this floor prepping video. I really hope that you liked and that, or that you enjoyed simply what you saw. Uh, it's been, uh, great for me to be able to share all of that process uh, and to show you exactly not exactly how it's done but how I did it myself uh, compared to other uh, schooly videos that you could find on YouTube if you want to put a comment please comment just below the video uh, if you want to like please like the video share uh, and tell me what you think tell me if you like it or not or if I should do something else uh, the other another from another way uh, if I'm wrong if I, or if I'm right or wrong so that's it for now until the next time bye guys <laughs>